Hello everyone. I am Pichaya Kunaro Rak from C17. Uh, today I will introduce you about how to do the Unreal script. The idea of the script comes from Butch the Butcher from Dota. Uh, if you have ever heard him before, his meat hook ability can grab the people from a distance and pull his target in front of him. His ultimate move is dismember. He can disable his victim completely, so his opponent cannot attack and shoot and move, so you have to stand there and die. In this sample script, I will modify the normal link gun into meat hook gun and call the dismember function from the new key binding via config file. Before doing anything, uh, let's plan first what we have to do. First, we will extend meat hook gun from normal link gun. Uh, second, we extend the batch controller to be able to call dismember function from the new key binding. Uh, third, we can extend UT pawn to be our custom pawn to make all of our pawn interact comp interact with this member properly. And fourth, we make our game mode and put everything we customize so far together. And last one, we put our new key binding into an INI file. So, let's get start. Uh, first, we are going to do the meat hook gun. So, create a new file, name it as the meat hook. This will be our modify gun from UT link gun. So, we should extend that from ut weapon link oh oh wait there is something wrong i can't use my script so let's see what just happened all right so you should put our script into the class folder so make a new folder called it classes uh, exclude it from project first and put this one into classes okay let's try again uh, let's try Close it first and then open it again. Close and open our Unreal script tutorial. Okay, it's import something now. So that should work. Okay, that's great. Now we can use intelligence. Uh, what we have to do next is override the old function of the link gun. That function called process beam hit. So we do similar thing. Function process beam hit. Ah, there we go. This is our new process beam hit that will override the old one. So let's look at the old one first. Okay, look at the parameter they want. So we just copy that.
okay just copy that okay. so let's think over again what we need now uh, we need to fire a beam and that beam can pull our victims in front of us so what we need is some vector that can tow the player to move that object to you so we need a vector for pull direction What we need is our victims. This victim is the built-in. They already have that on our superclass, so we don't even have to worry about that. And this test impact is already have there. So this test impact of the actor will give us the actor we shoot at. So it just try to give us the actor. What we need next is uh, try to link him. So we use our attempt to link to our the. Current five more. Current five more. Two. Five. This one is just set your five more to the beam mode. This is used in the old process beam hit too, but we try to override that, so we have to set something like the same old one to make it work. And when we shoot our beam, we cannot guarantee that we will hit the enemy. So we just throw that if we link to nothing. So set the header where we land. Shot. So that function is set flash location. It's required vector with location. Okay, we can give that by hit location. Yes, okay, that one. So now, if we shoot to the floor or the ceiling or the wall, it will give the splash on the wall. And if we have the actor, we want to pull. So if we shoot to the enemy, we can pull it to us. So we can set our put direction. Oh, sorry, pull direction to together. The instigator is you, the one who shoot. Uh, don't forget we are doing on working the gun, not your actor. So the instigator is the one who hold this gun. So we find your location minus by our victim. So this is our pool direction, we want to pull the victim from their location to us. 